Hello everybody, my name is Mark Rizzio. Welcome to Cooking with the Riz. Today I'm going to cook for you a, a Napolitana sauce, the Italian pasta sauce uh, that's actually ves very versatile. Um, you can use it for many different things, different sauces, different applications, whatever you're doing. You know, chicken parmigianas, it's just got a wide, wide variety of uses. So um, I've got uh, today's ingredients are um, onions, diced onions, I'm going to dice them up in a minute, uh, crushed garlic, chopped basil, tomato passata, and I'm going to uh, brown off some osso buco there as well and put that in the sauce, that gives a very nice flavour and then later after it's cooked it just falls off the bone and it is really nice to eat with your pasta. Um, Okay, so without further ado, I will dice up the onions and get all that ready. Uh, you don't need to see how I do that, really. Um, everyone knows how to dice an onion. Crush some garlic and chop a little bit of basil. And uh, I'll get back to you very, very soon. Okay, so we're back now. The onions are chopped. You might say, geez, he's got a lot of onions there. But yes, I do, because I'm actually cooking quite a few bottles of sauce. But at home, you'd only do maybe two onions and a couple of bottles, two or three bottles of sauce. Um, and yeah, so I'm just, I just cook and then I put it into containers and I freeze it down so it's easy meals uh, to take out. Um, all right, here we go. I'll put some oil in the pot. I'll just use some peanut oil. Olive oil is not a good thing to really use. Um, or you couldn't use a mixture of it because olive oil's burning point isn't as great. So I like to just um, use olive oil on other things like salads and things like that. All right, in go the onions. So fry these off a bit. Just turn it down a little. So I've got the uh, garlic here, and I've got the shredded basil, and I've got my passata sauces, which I'll get pre prepared, ready to go in. And so I'll go with uh, eight bottles there. But normally at home, you'd probably only do two, three. Um, oh, so. oh, that's cooking nicely. Turn it up a little. Alright. I've got my also buco here ready to go. Flour's here, my pan's ready. So after I've put the sauce in, I will just uh, brown them off, I'll seal them off and put them into the sauce and let them cook away. Alright. Give that a few minutes to cook and I'll... Okay guys, the onions and the garlic and I've got some, uh, a little bit of um, basil that I've had in some oil, I'll put a bit of that in there as well. And now I'm going to put the tomatoes.
And like I've shown you before, there's still plenty of tomato in the, in the jars. So I'll put some water in there, give it a shake, put that in. That's all done. Now I'll put this basil in there as well. That's just one bunch of basil I've got in there, fresh one. And the stir up. Okay, I'll whack some salt and pepper. Sounds like the battery's dying. They're great these battery operated salt and peppers. Now I will do the beef osabuco. Don't like mess, so I have to, I've got to clean this up for now. All right, I've got my flour here ready to go. Some oil in there. Take off the excess flour, it's nice and hot, put that straight in. Cast iron pan, this one, they are fantastic to use. No Teflon coatings or anything, they can go into your food. All right, we'll let them just cook a little bit. And I'll do all those and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back and uh, I've done my osso buco. I've just got one left in the pan here. I've floured it, sealed them off in this Big pan here. Uh, this one's just, is done. Wacky, look at the size of that. For a nice little buckle. All right, so now I'm going to deglaze the pan. Let's get all those beautiful flavors in there. Never leave, never leave those flavours in the pan to go to waste. Beautiful meat, meat juice from there. 
stuck to the bottom. Get it all off with the wine. All comes off. And that burns off the alcohol as well. And that is it, my friends. All right, this pan is very, very hot. Extremely hot. It's the only problem with these. They're so hot. All right, and that's the juices going in there. Yeah. Get every bit of out. Look at that. Really, that's flavour. Beautiful. Alright. And there you have it folks. This is a Napoli sauce. All you gotta do now is just turn it down and just let it simmer for probably about oh, maybe three hours. Um, you'll notice that the meat will fall off the bone. Uh, there, and just make sure you taste it. Make sure it's got enough salt and pepper in there. And uh, that is it. And then you can use it to your heart's desire for whatever you want to, you want to use it for. Um, I'm actually making on the weekend, which is day after, uh, which is tomorrow. I'm going to make some homemade ravioli, which is coming up in my next video. So if you've liked this video today, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you get all my content. Um, I'm only a new person on here, this is my second video. So hopefully you've enjoyed it and hopefully I've helped you further your cooking. So happy cooking everybody.